Good day everyone and welcome to a quick how-to video on updating your proof technique equipment to the latest firmware. We are talking today touch devices. So roadline touch and optline touch will be the same procedure, just a slight difference with the touch EX, but more on that later. So how are we gonna start today and what are we gonna need? We are going to need a computer with uh, internet connection, proof technique memory stick, USB drive and a touch device. Of course we today as you can see we are using the Roadline touch as I have sensor line 7 sensors. So where do we start? I am going to go by opening my Chrome browser that's a personal preference in using Chrome and luckily I have a Proof Technique bookmark you need to go to www.prooftechnique.com and as we open the link and remember load times may vary depending on your internet connection or even the computer you are using so we have the main screen of Proof Technique website. We're gonna go and look for products and services. Click on it and then shaft alignment. Scroll a bit down, and as we are doing the road line touch first, I'm gonna go to road line touch. As this is the page for road line touch, we're just gonna scroll down, read as you go and we're looking for the firmware tab so we go to firmware what is new on version 2.3 for example the ANSI tolerances are available for short flex and spacer coupling types etc so you can just go through that and a quick how to guide step by step on updating your touch device so I'm looking for this touch device version 2.3 click on it Now we go look here at the bottom and we will see the file downloading. Please note also that the file size is 702 megabytes. Okay, so firmware 2.3 finished downloading. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Proof Technique USB stick and add it to my computer. And as I'm using Windows 10, you can see that it already popped up to my PC. You can see also there's no files on my Proof Technique USB. So what's next? You need to go to the download folder where you downloaded the version 2.3 software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to downloads and there you can see and do check that you also have a 702 megabyte file sometimes the internet connection or download is interrupted and you might not have the complete file on there but I'm good at 702 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the zip folder I'm gonna say extract files and on the window that pops up I'm gonna look for my Proof Technique USB and press OK so this is going straight to the main folder, no need to go and create subfolders on your memory stick. So do keep in mind, load times may vary. After unzipping, you would like to go to the memory stick again and verify that the files are there. So I'm clicking on Proof Technique USB. There's my touch folder and unzip it went to 703 megabytes. So we are golden. So let's go to the right hand side corner and eject your USB disk. When it's safe to remove. You may proceed by removing the USB drive. 
So let's start by switching on our touch device. Please remember that the unit needs to be fully charged or at least above 50% power. The touch device is turned on and we are going to proceed to inserting the USB into the device. Take your touch device, open the cover at the top, take your memory stick. Now you will see the red light on the USB stick starts flashing. This is where it's copying all the files on the system to the touch device. done copying you can select the correction mark in order for the update to begin and remember by this time the files have already been copied and as soon as you accept the update you can remove the USB stick so then the update will run it's gonna run through about 10 steps on the screen this may take quite a while so just uh, be patient with it. You will have a touch to proceed button and it just gives you a slight warning there Please do not try to restart turn on turn off while being a hardware flash To verify that you are on the latest version you can take your touch device, go to configuration, click on about and you'll see the firmware version 2.3. All right, time to move on to the Rotoline Touch EX. Now we have the Rotoline Touch EX on the table and I'd like to go and download the Roadline Touch EX firmware as well so you can either choose to go back you can just press the Proof Technic logo left hand corner products and services shaft alignment then instead of Roadline Touch we're gonna go Roadline Touch EX same applies Touch EX page and as we go down firmware so what's new on 2.3 and you can see that the step by step for updating this unit is a bit longer and again we need to get the units above 50% power but we're looking for this file and let's download check quickly at the bottom that the file will be 615 megabytes so while we're waiting for that one, let's turn on the Rotland Touch EX. Okay, so what are we gonna need for this update? You, as you can see, there's no memory stick. We are going to use the USB cable and the power adapter. As you can see, it's already connected to my Roadland Touch EX and to the wall socket. So how do we going to do this one? Take your cable, add your cable to the power adapter add it to your computer and then you will see a pop-up that it's ready for download when you plug in the unit you'll get a message to allow access is go find our downloaded folder 
I will go into Windows Explorer. Because I am not extracting the files to a USB drive, I just need to extract it from the zip file. So what I'm going to do is right click on the Roadline Touch EX update zip file and just say extract to Roadline Touch EX version 2.3 it will create a folder and extract all the files to it and when you are done you're gonna open the file select all copy you're gonna then go and look for your Roadline Touch EX device double click on tablet then there's a folder firmware update double click right click paste and wait for the unit to copy the files over and we are done files are copied so let's disconnect the unit from the computer after disconnecting the unit a message will pop up saying firmware update in progress please wait just be patient and wait for the next screen. We'll proceed with update. Press the green tick mark. Let's select allow from the source. Install the Rotland Touch EX firmware. As per instructions on the website, just follow all prompts, install all required applications. Now it gives us a hint, the device needs to be restarted, so hold in power button briefly until power off and restart appears and go for restart. Now that the unit has restarted after update, we can go and verify that the update is complete. Configuration and about 2.3 with build number. So that is it. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Happy aligning!